Hey everyone, welcome to Kita Kodama. Today I wanted to do a little review on the SKB i-series case for the Roland Axe Edge Kita. This is a solid hard case and uh, I think it's a pretty good option if you're willing to spend a little bit of extra money on it. Firstly, I wanted to apologize for my filming setup. I don't have a lot of room where I live. I don't have a desk to be able to film things on and this is the best that I can do right now. It's currently really late at night and uh, I just had the urge to make this video because I noticed that there really isn't much information on cases for uh, the Roland Axe Edge. I believe there's one other video for the uh, the official soft bag, which was what I originally wanted, but then I was pointed towards this and I th I'm actually really glad that I chose this over the bag. Let's, uh, let's take a little bit of a more uh, in-depth look at this. Quick intermission to show my Axe Edge over here with a beautiful pink blade. She is amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend customizing your blade if you do have a Roland Axe Edge because it just makes it feel more like yours. So when we stand up the SKB i-series case for the Axe Edge, we notice that actually on the bottom of this case, there are wheels and there is a handle up the top here, which makes it really simple and really easy to actually move this thing around because it is seriously heavy. Side of the case, we also notice that it has locks. Uh, and it has a secondary handle that you can carry it from. These locks are TSA safe, which means that you can take it on airplanes uh, and air fl flight staff can actually open it up to make sure that there's no uh, no drugs or anything hiding in there that isn't an axe, metal or otherwise. So that's pretty cool. So with the case unlocked, you can just flip these little latches. One, two, three, four. And now the case opens. But uh, I should probably turn this actually, you know, down so we can see it properly, huh? Now with the case laying flat, we can open it up and take a good look. So this is what the inside of the case looks like. It's made out of a high quality dense foam to keep it nice and secure during flight or travel. You can probably knock this thing around a fair bit and not worry about your instrument. Oh, hello baby. Getting damaged or uh, being broken. The cutouts fit perfectly to the shape of the key top. I will put mine in in a second to show you exactly what that looks like. The only gripe that I have with this so far is that you have to remove the strap before you put it in because there is no room for the strap to be in here at all. Um, for someone that uses strap locks like myself, I'll go over that in another video about which strap locks I use. Um, I find it a little bit annoying, but that's okay. We don't have to worry about that. And by I don't have to worry about that, I simply mean that it's not too hard to take your strap off to make sure that your instrument is really secure. Look, let's feel this. Look at that. That's, it's dense. It's real tough. And this on the top is a bit softer to make it a bit easier on the keys. Now, let's have a chat about this compartment. Mine has my strap in it, my NUX wireless system, which I will do a video on these at some point because these are fantastic and really cheap. A couple of cables, my power plugs, USB for my sound packs and firmware, my screws in case things fall out, and one of my boxes for my Iron Loop Pros. This is a really solid, like, size. You can put some pedals in there, you can put some stuff in there. The only thing I don't like is that I still need to carry a separate bag box for my folder. That doesn't work too well. But that is a small price to pay for this absolutely beautiful case. Just before I throw my keytar into the case to show you what it looks like, you may notice I also have the official Roland stand. I will do a video on this as well if you'd like. I think it's pretty good. I think it's worth a little bit of extra money to make sure that it's nice and safe when it's standing up. So as you can see, it fits in the case absolutely perfectly. It has these awesome little handles so you can get underneath it and lift them back up. So you're not trying to struggle getting around all the keys and stuff. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so that's my review on the SKB i-series case for the uh, Roland Axe Edge Kita. Now, the one thing that could turn you away from this is the price. This thing retails for $700 Australian. Um, I'm not sure what that is American. Let me look that up. Okay, so I did a quick conversion and we're looking at about 500 US for this case and 650 Canadian dollars. That is a fairly decent price to pay, but this case isn't just going to get you from A to B, it's actually going to protect your instrument. So if you are looking at traveling with it, even just going places, I think this is the only thing that's gonna really save your instrument from getting damaged, rather than being in a soft bag. So while I was editing this, I uh, realized that I forgot to mention that the case is waterproof, so that is also a really good selling point. 
So that's it for today for my review on the SKB i-Series case for the Roland Axe Edge Keter. If you have any further questions, leave a comment down below, leave a like, subscribe, it really helps out the channel. Obviously I'm just starting out, this is my first video, so maybe my uh, video quality, editing and filming setup will all get nice and decent and um, a bit better in the future if I if it gets a little bit of love and support. So thank you so much and I uh, hope you have a wonderful day.